Where we find 10 News reporter Shane Dwyer tonight. He's in Christiansburg near the Sheeler Motor Mile. So Shane, what are you seeing out there? Lindsay and John, you know the lights just flickering right here in a gas truck giving us gas truck giving us a nice honk as they're delivering fuel. It was much needed today here in the Newer Valley. We're right along the motor mile on 460 right near Interstate 81. This is one of the lucky places in the Newer Valley that actually does have power. One of the few places you can see on the cars behind me that actually got some snow. There's some flurries falling from the sky right now, but while the power is on here for these restaurants in along 460 in Christiansburg, other people here in the Newer Valley aren't so lucky. They are spending the night in the cold and in the dark. The headaches are far from over, but around here they see it as a luxury. Another beautiful day in Floyd to get that right. A luxury of making a home in the New River Valley, which bore the brunt of the storm. Anything else for you? No. The Floyd Circle K transforming Thursday into the place to be for curing what ails you. All the ice. <laughs> Gotta love the ice. So, um, and no one else in town has any power. The ice storm upending tractor trailers, closing roads and toppling trees all over. When you're the only place in town with power, you stay busy. 7,000 gallons of gas in a day busy. At one point, our diesel pumps were all the way around the store. Our, uh, the customers waiting to get to the diesel pumps. So, um, and all the gas pumps have been completely full. Appalachian power crews are trying their best to keep up, but ice is one tough opponent. Lines are down and nearly 30,000 people remain in the dark. Once this uh, water starts hitting in the trees, it freezes. And of course, you know, the lens starts snapping out and you'll see what you got right here on the, the lines uh, where it's broke the cross arms. And the ice could have power out for nearly three days in some areas, which for many just compounds this headache of a day. Restless. I work night shift, got four hours sleep today. So. Got to go back tonight on four hours sleep. So as the ice slowly melts away, many anxiously await tomorrow's sun. We really were not prepared for this as much because we thought the temperatures would rise a little sooner, but um, I'm glad that we had plenty of back stock on hand to be able to handle all the customers. It wasn't the storm they thought it'd be, but these folks will make it work just like they always do. We're almost out of the woods, but we're not almost there yet. If you are using any of those alternatives this evening to heat your home or light your home, you're remembered to urge to use safety. So that means if you're using a generator, keep it outside. If you're using a heater, make sure you keep distance from other items around it so you don't catch anything on fire. And of course, if you're using a candle, be sure to blow it out before you fall asleep. Live in Christiansburg, Shane Dwyer, 10 News, working for you.